dear friends now we discuss the bond enthalpy then average bond enthalpy and the reaction and bond enthalpy. and now we will see a one problem on bond energy in bond enthalpy changing bond enthalpy or bond energy. here this is the problem the enthalpy change of the following reaction and the reaction is given methane gas plus Cl2 gas gives out methylene chloride CH3Cl plus HCl gas. Standard enthalpy change in the reaction is minus 104 kilojoules. Calculate CCl bond. CCl bond enthalpy. The bond enthalpies are. The bond enthalpy is below bond and the standard enthalpy is CH 440, CLCL 143, and HCL 430. These are the bond enthalpies of these bonds. And we calculate bond enthalpy of carbon CL bond. Calculate this one by using this data. The reaction is given here, and these quantities are given to us. Here, this is the required equation, and this reaction here CH4 means CH4. Here, CH4 contains how many CH bond? Here central atom is carbon. Means CH4 containing 4 CH bond. Then here Cl2. Cl2 containing only 1 Cl bond. Here Cl Cl. Means 1 here 3. Here 4. Here 1. Then here CH3 Cl. CH3 Cl CH3 here C employee CH 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 means 3 CH and 1 Cl here 3 CH and 1 Cl and SCL this SCL here 1 2 3 4 SCL here HCl this is one is this reaction containing in the within 4 CH bond here Cl2 containing 1 Cl Cl bond then CH3 Cl containing 3 CH bond and 1 C Cl bond and SCL containing 1 SCL do we calculate what enthalpy of CCL? When this is the half order, each of you are going to say what enthalpy calculate currency. When this half order, what I'm saying, the formula is to operate capacity, how many enthalpy is required or how many energies are required. That energy is calculated by using our knowledge. And here you know. You know the formula of change in enthalpy means to calculate bond energy from enthalpies. And using this formula, we will calculate the bond enthalpy of CCL bond. Here, we use the formula delta R H0 is equal to summation of enthalpy of reactant reactants minus summation of enthalpies of product half formula kai karaycha hai use karaycha hai tai chal dekha hai delta e standard enthalpy of reactant and change standard enthalpy of product. Natural enthalpy of reactant, second enthalpy of reactant. 
delta h is zero, c minus c r. Here we will have to note it. And plus delta h is zero, which one time we did it? Delta h is zero. Delta h is zero is four hundred thirty one. Third half of the number can be written. The chapter is about subtraction. We are going to do it. Third half of the number. तर सब्सट्रैक्शन वगैरह क्या लग तब तो माला क्या है अच्छी वैल्यू करने चाहिए तो एक लगे ऐसे पाकाई लेकर एक अंदर जब अपने ऐसे करके चार क्या लाये ऐसा तो जब वैल्यू ये ना रहे तब तो वैल्यू वो भी क्या पड़ा तो ऐसा वाले ये अच्छी वैल्यू तो लोग कैंडोट करने चाहिए अन्य ऐसा � माइनस प्लस पैरामीटर है ना हाँ माइनस टी नहीं जब तुम इसे कर सॉल्व किया लो तब तुम्हारा डेल्टा एच जीरो सी सी एल ये अच्छी वैल्यू है अति वैल्यू है ठीक माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी किलो जूस पर हम्म ये तो बहुत सब्सट्रैक्शन करें जैसे नहीं अच्छा बोलता हूँ तो उनपे ही बहुत ची एनर्जी you are total reaction to more energy guy find out kar bhai and yaar that's a problem but shall can say the one that bond enthalpy change in the bond enthalpy in the shall that's it then ha formula is in it the enthalpy change in the formula is in the usra of the summation of enthalpy product minus summation of enthalpy of area he is the guy that has a bond energy of the problem computer and now this is the next point that is Hess law of constant heat summation. This is the next point. Hess law of constant heat summation. So, the constant heat summation is the reaction of 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 अन्य याचा वो भी बराबर चला फोर मार्क्स सब क्वेश्चन भी चला लगे कहाँ सब क्वेश्चन में स्टेट एंड एक्सपेंड हेस ऑफ कंस्टेंट हिट सेमेशन एंड गिव इट्स एप्लिकेशन हियर स्टेटमेंट में भी जो तब वन मार्क्स है एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ वन मार्क्स एंड टू मार्क्स फॉर एप्लिकेशंस इन देर आर टू थ्री फोर एप्लिकेशंस आर The next point is law of constant heat summation. His law of constant heat summation. There are lots of statements that are there. A super statement that is there. The overall the enthalpy change for a reaction, overall enthalpy change in the reaction is equal to the sum of enthalpy change individual stage the individual stage in the reaction. Why is there another one? चेंज एंथाल्पी फक्त ये तो चल क्या होता है चेंज में डायरेक्ट रिएक्शन के लिए से क्यों आते हैं दो रिक्वायर्ड तीन स्टेप पर रिएक्शन के लिए से अतः ये ये स्टेटमेंट क्या होती है और ऑल एंथाल्पी चेंज इन डी रिएक्शन इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ एंथाल्पीज ऑफ इंडिविजुअल स्टेप्स इन डी केमिकल रिएक्शन Whether the reaction is carried out in one one step or number of steps, my comment is that the reaction in one step for the chemical dioxide and that because it will change the reaction. So, if you are taking the reaction to make any number of steps, but it will give the third one that we are going to do the enthalpy change will be going to change the same one that we are going to do the same. So, after the general example, as a point. तो जनरल एग्जांपल ये ना कहेंगे जी अपने क्रेशन में जी 
consider a reaction consider a reaction a gives out c and here delta h is your standard enthalpy of this reaction is equal to delta h1 keep it here is a one step reaction one step the heat reaction of the current change two step for the current change for the two step here h of the first step a is converted into b this is the first step and here delta h0 is equal to delta h2 then Second step, B is converted into C, and then delta H zero is equal to delta H three. Here, the later reaction, here B is cancelled, A is a gives out the C. Here, delta H zero of this reaction. Delta H two plus delta H two. अतः reaction में भी कई केलियों के अपन एकाच स्टेप पर एक केलियों के ठहराव दीजिए. Change in enthalpy जो है delta H two. उन तरह पर भी तो here delta H one is equal to delta H two plus delta H three. जब जब के reaction के लिए और के लिए single step एंथापी जनरल 3H2 gas plus N2 gas. We get twice NH3 gas. And here there is the H0 of this reaction. Is. The standard enthalpy of this reaction is minus. 92.2 kJ. This is the one step reaction. Then the change in enthalpy is this minus 2. Point, minus 92.2 kJ. Here this reaction with synthesis of ammonia. You know two step. This is the first single step reaction. And we get out. This reaction in a two step. Here first step, the two step reaction under by chain. Here, twice H two gas, twice H two gas plus N two gas. We get carbon one. So the gas is two nitrogen, two nitrogen means. Then 
Then, next step in this reaction. N2H4 gas plus plus H2 gas and gives out and here we get twice NH3 gas and here delta H0 in this reaction is that is minus 187.6 kilojoules here addition of these two reactions we get here you know cancer then 3H2 gas here is 5 by 6H2, here is 1H2. 2 plus 1, 3. Plus N2 gas. And here it gives out twice NH3 gas. And here delta H0 in this reaction is. Here is minus and here is a plus. And this total is minus 92.2 kilo joules. Here this is the direct reaction and this reaction in these two steps. Now by definition cavity, overall the enthalpy change in the reaction is equal to the equal to the sum of enthalpies change of a particular state in the chemical arrangement. This is the Hess law constant heat summation. Chamber pair of statement with another two lines from the and next point, application of the Hess law. Application of the Hess law. Yeah, next point, applications of the Hess law. And totally four applications. Applications of the Hess law. Applications of Yes. Here we calculate change in enthalpy in the reaction. You are change in standard enthalpy of formation or change in standard enthalpy of combustion. These things are not calculated by experimentally, but by using the Hess law and we calculate the standard enthalpy to a change in standard enthalpy in chemical reaction then change in standard enthalpy of formation or change in standard enthalpy of combustion these values are calculated by using Hess law and the applications of Hess law is First application to calculate the change in enthalpy of a reaction. This is the first application. Second, to calculate the change in enthalpy, to calculate the change in enthalpy, or to calculate the standard change in enthalpy of formation. This is the second application. And third is to calculate the change in standard enthalpy of combustion and fourth application is the thermochemical equations are formed by using Hess law is with addition, subtraction or multiplication by numerical factor and to and we prepare the thermochemical equations. These are the four applications of the Hess law. First is to calculate change in enthalpy. Then second to calculate the standard enthalpy of formation. Third to calculate the standard enthalpy of combustion. And fourth, we, form, we prepare or we form the thermochemical equations by using the data. 
and these are the applications of the Hess law. Today we see the Hess law of constant heat summation. Then we see the example of Hess law and application. And here we stop. Now, okay. Thank you.